The Satinib pronounced one B also known as the uprated Saturn I, was an American launch vehicle commissioned by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA for the Apollo program. It replaced the SIV second stage of the Saturn I with the much more powerful SIVB, able to launch a partially fueled Apollo Command and Service Module (CSM) or a fully fueled Lunar Module (LM) into low Earth orbit for early flight tests before the larger Saturn V needed for lunar flight was ready. By sharing the SIVB upper stage, the Saturn IB and Saturn V provided a common interface to the Apollo spacecraft. The only major difference was that the SIVB on the Saturn V burned only part of its propellant to achieve Earth orbit, so it could be restarted for trans-lunar injection. The SIVB on the Saturn IB needed all of its propellant to achieve Earth orbit. The Saturn IB launched two unmanned CSM suborbital flights, one unmanned LM orbital flight, and the first manned CSM orbital mission, first planned as Apollo 1, later flown as Apollo 7. It also launched one orbital mission, as 203, without a payload so the SIVB would have residual liquid hydrogen fuel. This mission supported the design of the restartable version of the SIVB used in the Saturn V, by observing the behavior of the liquid hydrogen in weightlessness. In 1973, the year after the Apollo lunar program ended, three Apollo CSM, Saturn IBs ferried crews to the Skylab space station. In 1975, one last Apollo, Saturn IB launched the Apollo portion of the joint US-USSR Apollo Soyuz Test Project ASTP. A backup Apollo CSM, Saturn IB was assembled and made ready for a Skylab rescue mission, but never flown. The remaining Saturn IBs in NASA's inventory were scrapped after the ASTP mission, as no use could be found for them and all heavy lift needs of the U.S. space program could be serviced by the cheaper and more versatile Titan III family. History In 1959, NASA's Silverstein Committee issued recommendations to develop the Saturn-class launch vehicles, growing from the C-1. When the Apollo program was started in 1961 with the goal of landing men on the Moon, NASA chose the Saturn I for Earth orbital test missions. However, the Saturn I's payload limit of 20,000 pounds would allow testing of only the command module with a smaller propulsion module attached, as the command and service module would have a dry weight of at least 26,300 pounds in addition to service propulsion and reaction control fuel. In July 1962, NASA announced selection of the C-5 for the lunar landing mission, and decided to develop another launch vehicle by upgrading the Saturn I, replacing its SIV second stage with the SIVB, which would also be modified for use as the Saturn V third stage. The SI first stage would also be upgraded to the SIB by improving the thrust of its engines and removing some weight. The new Saturn IB, with a payload capability of at least 35,000 pounds kilograms, would replace the Saturn I for Earth orbit testing, allowing the command and service module to be flown with a partial fuel load. It would also allow launching the 32,000 pound lunar excursion module separately for unmanned and manned Earth orbital testing, before the Saturn V was ready to be flown. It would also give early development to the third stage. On May 12, 1966, NASA announced the vehicle would be called the Uprated Saturn I. At the same time, the Lunar Excursion Module was renamed the Lunar Module. However, the Uprated Saturn I Terminology was reverted to Saturn IB on December 2, 1967. By the time it was developed, the Saturn IB payload capability had increased to 41,000 pounds (19,000 kilograms). By 1973, when it was used to launch three Skylab missions, the first stage engine had been upgraded further, raising the payload capability to 46,000 pounds (21,000 kilograms). Uh, 
Topic: Specifications. Topic: Launch vehicle. Topic: Payload configurations. Topic: SIB stage. The SIB stage was built by the Chrysler Corporation at the Mishad Assembly Facility, New Orleans. It was powered by eight Rocketdyne H1 rocket engines burning RP-1 fuel with liquid oxygen Eight Redstone tanks four holding fuel and four holding locks were clustered around a Jupiter rocket LOX tank. The four outboard engines were mounted on gimbals, allowing them to be steered to control the rocket. Eight fins surrounding the base thrust structure provided aerodynamic stability and control. Height, 80.17 feet meters. Diameter, 21.42 feet meters. Number of fins, 8 Finspan, 39.42 feet (12.02 meters). Engines, eight Rocketdyne H1. Thrust, 1,600,000 lbf (7,100 kilonewtons). Fuel, RP1, refined kerosene, 41,000 US gal (155 cubic meters). Oxidizer, liquid oxygen, LOX, 66,277 US gal, 251 cubic meters, nominal capacity including 1.5% ullage volume, 43,284 US gal, 163 cubic meters in four outer tanks plus 22,993 US gal, 87 cubic meters in center tank. Burn time two. 5 minutes burnout altitude 37 nmi 69 kilometers topic SIVB 200 stage the SIVB was built by the Douglas Aircraft Company at Huntington Beach California the SIVB-200 model was similar to the SIVB-500 third stage used on the Saturn V, with the exception of the interstage adapter, smaller auxiliary propulsion control modules, and lack of on-orbit engine restart capability. It was powered by a single Rocketdyne J2 engine. The fuel and oxidizer tanks shared a common bulkhead, which saved about 10 tons of weight and reduced vehicle length over 10 feet. Height 58.42 feet 17.81 meters Diameter 21.67 feet 6.61 meters Engine single J2 Thrust 200,000 lbf 890 kilonewtons Fuel liquid hydrogen LH2 64,000 US gal 242 cubic meters Oxidizer, liquid oxygen, LOX, 20,000 US gal, 76 cubic meters. Burn time, approx. 7 minutes. Burnout altitude for Saturn IB orbit. Topic: Instrument unit. IBM built the instrument unit at the Space Systems Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Located at the top of the SIVB stage, it consisted of a launch vehicle digital computer LVDC, an inertial platform, accelerometers, a tracking, telemetry and command system and associated environmental controls. It controlled the entire rocket from just before liftoff until battery depletion. Like other rocket guidance systems, it maintained its state vector position and velocity estimates by integrating accelerometer measurements, sent firing and steering commands to the main engines and auxiliary thrusters, and fired the appropriate ordnance and solid rocket motors during staging and payload separation events. 
As with other rockets, a completely independent and redundant range safety system could be invoked by ground radio command to terminate thrust and to destroy the vehicle should it malfunction and threaten people or property on the ground. In the Saturn Ibn V, the range safety system was permanently disabled by ground command after safely reaching orbit. This was done to ensure that the SIVB stage would not inadvertently rupture and create a cloud of debris in orbit that could endanger the crew of the Apollo CSM. <laughs> <laughs> Launch sequence events Topic: Saturn IB vehicles and launches. The first five Saturn IB launches for the Apollo program were made from LC-34 and LC-37, Cape Kennedy Air Force Station. The Saturn IB was used between 1973 and 1975 for three manned Skylab flights and one Apollo Soyuz test project flight. This final production run did not have alternating black and white SIB stage tanks, or vertical stripes on the SIVB aft tank skirt, which were present on the earlier vehicles. Since LC-34 and 37 were inactive by then, these launches utilized Kennedy Space Center's LC-39B. Mobile launcher platform number one was modified, adding an elevated platform known as the milkstool to accommodate the height differential between the Saturn IB and the much larger Saturn V. This enabled alignment of the launch umbilical tower's access arms to accommodate crew access, fueling, and ground electrical connections for the Apollo spacecraft and SIVB upper stage. The tower's second stage access arms were modified to service the SIB first stage. For earlier launches of vehicles in the Saturn I series, see the list in the Saturn I article. Topic Saturn IB rockets on display Currently there are three locations where Saturn IB vehicles or parts thereof are on display. SA-209 is on display at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, with the Apollo Facilities Verification Vehicle. Due to severe corrosion, the first stage engines and service module were replaced with fabricated duplicates in 1993–1994. The SA-211 first stage is on display with the SIVBS battleship static test stage stacked in a launch-ready condition at the Alabama Welcome Center on Interstate 65 in Ardmore, Alabama. 34.954548 degrees north 86.89193 degrees west, 34.954548, minus 86.89193 The SA-211 SIVB stage was mated with the Skylab underwater training docking adapter and Apollo telescope mount and is on display in the Rocket Garden of the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Topic. Cost In 1972, the cost of a Saturn IB including launch was $55 million equivalent to $329 million in 2018. Topic. See also Comparison of orbital launches families Comparison of orbital launch systems <laughs>